Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can install Node.js or use in Amazon Linux 2023. As you know, Amazon Linux 2023, it's a bit different from Amazon Linux 2. So Amazon Linux 2 was based on CentOS, CentOS 7 actually. And Amazon Linux 2023 is based on uh, Fedora. So that's why the commands are a bit different. So I'm going to show you how you can install Node.js and using NVM. Node version manager and using NVM, the advantage is that you can use multiple node versions in the same system parallelly. So let's get started. First, I'm going to launch a new instance. So let's launch a new instance. By default, Amazon Linux 2023 is selected because it has a long term support. So let's say five years. That means you are, you are using in 2023, then you can use it till 2028 and they will provide support. So, Node.js, then I'm going to use T2 micro, that's fine. Then I'm going to put the key here, that is, that's what it is. I'm going to add some security group. And in the advanced area, I'm going to use an IAM role, that's it. The launch instance, which will give a new instance. I have a blog article here, which is explaining all the things that I've given here. So it should be pretty easy. Okay, so um, this is the instance. Takes time to get started. I'm just going to refresh this screen. Let me explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to install npm, the pretty simple means command. You can just copy paste it. Then I'm going to check the version, and then I'm going to install. But I'm going to install, I think, 17, because this article is 16, but you can use 17 so far, no, no problem issues. So uh, that should be the ideal situation. I'm going to connect. Still not ready. If you see this screen, that means still your instance is not started yet. For you. So you have to wait for a few more minutes. And now it's ready. So let's connect. This is session manager. So I'm going to go to it to the OC. And then pretty simple. I'm just going to copy this command. There is, we don't have to think anything around this. Copy paste properly. Don't miss anything and enter. So, this install NVM. So, that's okay. And then you just run, copy this part and run it. That will uh, update your bash rc. So, index, enter, that's okay. So let's see if our NVM installation was successful. Let's take a version. Zero three nine, that's good. And then what we have, I'm going to install. I'm going to install uh, NVM install 17. So uh, that's the difference, but you can install 16 as well. That's, that's the beauty of NVM that you can install multiple versions and then set alias to default to a different version. I'm going to show you how. So now I'm installing NVM 17. I'm going to install NVM install 16. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can switch versions. Now uh, the default is alias default is 17 now. So uh, even though I installed 16, but the default is still 17. So if I do node V, it will show 16 out. Then if I wanted to switch it, then NVM alias default 17. Okay, now if I do not just V, I should see NVM alias default 17. That's special system. Do I need to reconnect? Just a moment. Just yeah, sometimes. Uh, 
much. Yes. Pretty much straightforward. If I, did, if I did something like that, I'm going to go root and then uh, I give me the node that should be yeah, 17. So you see, node 17, this is the uh, current version. And if I wanted to make it 16, I can just make it again. The process is same in the end, alias call 16. I guess I have to, yeah, I have to reconnect again. So that's the, that's the only drawback, but your node version is in the instance is became 16 now. So the SEO node is 16, that's good. So let's go to uh like uh, so I'm going to create www and then I'm going to do the folder cd www and then I'm going to uh, like create an HTML folder where I go to uh, create an uh, not just product. So currently I have in say npm or it's my NPM version. That's good. So just try to set up an express project. So express JS, for example. I think there are a lot of examples. If you just copy one of those, please. This is Hello World that created. So um, this is it actually. What I can do here is relation point npm in id dash y. We will create the package to JSON. This will go here. The package just created. So this is our example, and if I just copy this, pi index dot js. I paste it. It requires Express, so I just need to install Express. So that's not a big deal. NPM install Express. It will install Express, update our package.json. Let's see that package.json. And here is the dependency Express. So let's clear the screen. If you run node index.js, it should start our express app on port 3000. But we cannot use view that because um, we haven't opened our port 3000 here. One of the best way to run the node applications is running with uh, PM2 and also with Nginx for forwarding. So you don't expose your node just put directly, but rather Nginx you know, port forward 3000 to port 80 and then works. So how to do that? Let's install Nginx. So I have an article on my blog for uh, Nginx as well. So this article. And uh, you can directly go to here. This is Amazon Linux 2023, so it uses DNF. You remember, it's Fedora, so it's in this DNF. So system CTL, uh, start Nginx, and then system CTL, enable Nginx. Okay, clear. So now if I refresh, uh, it will show welcome to Nginx, but that's not what we want. We want to show the hello world from the Notice application. How to do that? Now, uh, what we have to do is we need to create a um, server block. So if we go down, Nginx server block, uh, there is an article available for Nginx server block. So this is pretty simple. I'm going to just create uh, run this command. And here is the server block. I wanted to, uh, so not that, yeah, there is, not that. 
let's make it uh, no jewels dot article dot xyz and everything you can keep it as it is it is put forward put forwarding three thousand to the uh, eight zero so now I'm uh it here Uh, remember, we run our application via running this command node index.js and it's running. If I control C, then this app stops. There is a way to run it continuously that's using the PM2. So, PM2 uh, is a good example. PM2 is a good, uh, I use PM2, I don't think it's the best, but I think I. It's it's my purpose. So you can use PM2 as a global. And then um this will we need to create an app in the PM2. So just PM2 start node in this JS and that should run the index of JS continuously in the background. That will be done start index.js that's that's it so now if we restart our nginx server system CPL, restart nginx let's see if we still do this yeah this is hello world so this is coming from our notebook application remember so now uh, let's mo modify this UI index .js. We wanted to not show hello world, but uh, we'll come to it just because of it. Just to see, show you how we can do that. Welcome to AWS. I mean, type and AWS. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to save it. Now you need to restart your app. So what I do is PM2 uh, restart all. That means it will restart all the applications. If there's multiple applications surrounding, it will restart all. Now if we refresh this screen, for example, AWS. We can do something else as well, like we can set up an SSL certificate and uh, all those things. Let's let's do this. Let's do this. So I'm going to stop the video for a few seconds. I'm going to log on to my Cloudflare account. So like this. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, so I have logged in and I'm going to finish here. Okay, so I go to DNS and then I go to uh, create the record. It should be what I do here. No JS like this. And the IP is this. So let's copy this IP. Remove the HTTP part, that's not part of the IP. And don't box it. Okay. So um, now if we uh, run this no this dot dot I think it should show hello world. I think I guess so. Yeah, welcome to AWS. That's what we wanted. Now we wanted to install uh certbot, right? So how to install certbot? It's Fedora, so it will your previous commands on Amazon Linux 2 will not work here. You need to use pip to install the certbot. The commands are given here, you can just copy this there. Simple. Run this. Mm. 
Yes, I'm going to install it. We can just copy it. Literally, the copy paste it, nothing else. No need to think anything at all. It should run. Well, the version that I'm trying to use it should run. Right? Okay, we can you can run my second comment as well. I don't think so. Let's see what it run. That's good. Then I'm going to go to uh, creating uh, or installing SART bot SART open Linux. That's required. It installs the SART bot, which is actually creating the SSL certificate from this election. I'm creating a symbolic link so that you can just run SART bot rather than like use a pin SART bot. You know, this line is, this is also, this is the main path where it's start button is installed, but when I'm using user being start bot, then I can just run start bot as, as a command here, like start bot, and then engine So both ways are okay. So uh, now they are asking for an email address. I'm going to give my email address. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so it is installing the SSL certificate and into the server, and that's it. The certificate need to be renewed. Oh, you need to renew the certificate. And uh, you need to set a cron job for doing this. That should do the job. Yeah, here it is. This is the clock icon. That means connection is secure, certificate is valid, and this is being installed on May 1, 2023. It expires until like 30. Now I can set a cron uh, tab. So if you go to my blog and search for cron tab, oh, sorry, cron tab. It's, there are a few uh, commands available for front app that's interesting to go to the bottom and yeah, this I might need to have that in the... okay so uh, paste it here so do front app e um, there, oh, I'm in Fedora, so this doesn't work. I just need to figure it. So, from there, on Fedora. Yeah, this it's, it's been annoying that. The command that we used to run, it's not really working. And uh, oh, we use cron e. That's Right. DNS install from IE. Oh, let's see. From IE, okay. This is the simple content. Oh, now I'm uh, available. So, uh, now I just need to. Uh, since this is it now how how do i get this now if you go to uh the king from tab uh generator front tab generator it will give you 
the exact explanation what I have written here. So it says that zero three triple star. So you can just uh run here. So uh, zero. Three, uh, this is three, and then um, triple star, 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 star. Then I run the line. Oh. I just wrote this. So zero three triple star ls. It explains that uh, it will run out by twenty twenty three five two three m. So it means it will run every day, 3 a.m. in the morning to just renew, try to renew. So basically, this will run this command. So this are the renew, right? And if you run it here, you can run it manually as well. That's also here. Yeah. So this are the renew. You will see that your certificates are not yet due for renewal. That means it will only renew in last 30 days. So like if it, it expires on 0730, so at least 0630 you can renew after 0630 you can renew so for next 90 days so that's just a way you can actually set it on a weekly basis as well if it's too much so that's a good so uh a lot of things here we discussed we discussed how to set up uh node.js using nvm how to set up different versions in node.js how we can install uh, how can I run a uh, Node.js simple Hello World app with Express? Then we have installed uh, PM2 to run it background on NSP, and we know how to install Nginx, let's say, blah, 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 on Fedora, which is in the next 2023, Amazon next 23. That should be more useful. So that's being said. That's it for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and I will get more videos like this. And if you wanted to watch anything specific, you can just put a comment in the description or video comment. Comment in the video below, then I will try to comment. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.